face, but you will recognize his voice or he could do a voice that you would recognize. One of the things Matthew Wood is best known for is his role as General Grievous in the film Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and then in the animated series as well Clone Wars. Matthew, thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's fantastic. Uh, we, we talked about the passion that Star Wars fans have, and yes. it is almost limitless. Mm -hmm. What has been, I don't even know if this is a fair question, what has been the most unusual thing at one of these expos that has happened to you? Gosh, you know, there. I go to a lot of these uh, conventions, and it's just fun for me to be part of the Star Wars universe in the way that I can meet fans and have that, like, boots on the ground like feeling the passion directly. I normally work in post-production. I, uh, I do sound work for films and all yeah. the Star Wars movies, so normally we're behind the scenes, you know? And so I've done a lot of voice work that's got me in front of fans and people, and it's just great to take that energy back to Skywalker Ranch where we work and create these shows, and it kind of feeds on itself, you know, all the energy and the passion. So I just love that. Well, and let's get into that a little bit. You mentioned the sound editing. Mm -hmm. Nominated for an Oscar uh, because yeah. sound editing on uh, Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. What came first for you? Was it, I'm really interested in sound editing or I'm really good at doing these voices? You know, it was George Lucas. I, I got a job at Lucasfilm when I was a teenager. So wow. George Lucas was very open to the employees, you know, going in different directions. You weren't just pigeonholed into one kind of particular thing. And I got yeah. into sound really early and I also had a passion for acting and so using that equipment and using that same uh, technology to work both parts of my brain both technical and creative was something George encouraged and so I got a lot of opportunities early on for doing that. We, we were talking about you and I kind of hit right at about the perfect age in yeah. terms of being crazy for the original trilogy and that yes. kind of thing. You started as a teenager. How did how did you even get to that spot at that early? Not that I'm questioning my own life sure. choices, but I kind of <laughs> am right now. You know, it was just a it was a lot of luck. Uh, I it happened. Skywalker Ranch happened to be near where I was growing up, and yeah. it was sort of a hidden place. This is before Google Maps or any of that stuff. You kind of had to <laughs> yeah. know where it was. Yeah. I did some research at the local library, found out where it was. I saw a job posting on a on a bulletin board system and I put my name in for it and I faxed a resume to them. This is in 1989. <laughs> I love it. Couldn't and I love went that to the more. top of the pile and I got this job as a video games tester. And really? So, really? You know, just like most things, you know, I came in to work with a crew and uh, I really gelled really well and I just got to do all kinds of different technology uh, research and development and uh, came through the Star Wars universe by via George Lucas. Well, that's one thing that you've undoubtedly seen change so much over the years is the technology. I mean, you're yeah. talking about you know models and those kinds of things mm -hmm. to now you know the green walls and everything sure, else are using yeah. technology has changed so much since you first started. Yeah, right. And every you know every stage of the game, I'm now working on the Mandalorian season uh, season and uh, Book of Boba Fett as well. Oh, God. <laughs> of course you are. And we use uh, you know this thing called the volume, where it's like a, it's a lot of screens like this, but almost in this eggshell shape, and everyone walks in, and you can go in and basically recreate the outdoors live in real time. So you have all the you know like Mandalorian has an uh, you know a helmet on and so you can see the reflections in real time of what's happening on the set and there's not even a wow. green screen so it actually helps the actors get into their roles it helps the VFX artists get rid of a lot of the stuff they have to do in post yeah and for so instead account. of just you know kind of trying to pretend like the monster's there you yeah. can kind of you got it you can kind of see the monster yeah yeah which is which is pretty wild okay before I let you go yeah what's the thing people ask you most to say as General Grievous oh they love to hear like when Obi-Wan Kenobi interacts with Grievous there's a little meme going on where you know uh, the scene where Obi-Wan jumps down out of the rafters and says hello there and I say General Kenobi you are a bold one <laughs> 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 okay, I'm so happy right now. Maybe th th thank you again thank for coming you. in. This has just been spectacular. Have fun while you're in town. Absolutely, thanks a lot. Cincinnati Comic Expo. Oh my gosh, it opens to the public today at 3, and it runs through 5 on Sunday. It is 942. We have some music to get your Friday morning off on the right foot. We'll chat with two of the most talented jazz musicians in the tri-state next on Good Morning Cincinnati. And good morning, Cincinnati. It is 945 right now, and this is a live look from our weather camera up in Butler County. Uh, things have really cleared out significantly in Oxford this morning. Uh, Oxford, like many parts of the tri-state, had some pretty significant fog this morning, but things are uh, looking uh, quite nice right now. Blue skies. Uh, see the same thing in uh, downtown Cincinnati as well, as we're getting prepared for a really long weekend of a lot of things happening. Uh, there's going to be some really nice weather as well. Uh, right now, our temperatures are in the mid-60s. Uh, we're going to get into uh, the 80s again today. 
So it's going to be a nice day in terms of uh, getting out and having a good time. And, and that's our meteor meteorologist uh, Paul Poteet uh, has uh, been uh, giving us a good forecast all week. Happening tonight, Washington Park will kick off a year-long concert series that focuses on female empowerment. The band 10,000 Maniacs will kick off the unique Rise Up Women series sponsored by Cincinnati Bell. Following the show tonight, the program will move to Memorial Hall where uh, several female singers will take to the stage over the next 12 months. In addition to the hit music, uh, the event also features power